So, um, a couple of months ago, I noticed something interesting about thermal on CERN maps. So, hot maps like Terra Therma and Caustic Valley, and to a point, Tourmaline Desert. So, normally people are like, oh, turn on heat vision, you're going to go blind. Pretty much, thermal vision will blind you because it, it basically goes all white. But I noticed some interesting behavior with the, uh, with the thermal vision when you actually see a mech. So, right now, for example, you can see night vision. Targets in, or places that are too far start getting the, the darkened appearance, eventually becoming completely black on certain maps. And basically the same thing applies to mechs. Mechs sort of glow a bit, and then at, at a further ranges they become black and blended with the background. Thermal vision is the same thing on most maps that are cool. So it'll, it'll be hot white close by, or hot white for the mechs close by, and all the... Uh, all the terrain is gray and goes towards black so you don't get maximum vision. You can't see mechs glowing bright about a kilometer away. They'll be black as well. So when you try on heat vision on this map, obviously it's completely blind. You can barely see the mech in front and it probably got some eye pain from that. So you can make out some features. Obviously it's not practical to walk around in this, uh, in this mode. But an interesting thing happens when you actually spot mechs. So... Uh, one of the things that you can actually do here is, for example, for sniping long range, outside of sensor range, or if they're ECM, you can actually use the heat vision to determine what parts of the body can be shot. So up here, I've, I've done this a few times, I finally uh, spotted the mech, so I'm going to walk out and try not to do the sensor uh, pickup because it marks a red box, oh well, too late. But you can see how you can barely see the Jenner at this range, it looks like it blends in. You can get some definition perhaps on a higher range monitor. But it, it's still not noticeable, so I'm just gonna power down the microphone. System quick. offline. I mean, unless he's running, it literally could be taken as part of the uh, the background right there. So when you turn on thermal, though, he turns black. I assume because normally thermal goes black. Target but he's acquired. Bright cold at this range, so I don't have uh, magnification, but. I mean, you can pretty much tell where he can be shot at. Each individual leg is totally highlighted. Stuff like that. And then when you pop out around the corner here, I believe there's an atlas around the corner. New target acquired. It's very noticeable compared to the background. If you like, I know there's a, there's a mountain in the way. So you can actually see the individual cutoff. So in this case, for example, let's say we want to just get in his, target destroyed. his cockpit. Pretty easy. You can see his eyes perfectly compared to the terrain. You know that his legs are covered. Target acquired. And then as you get closer, obviously Target destroyed. they get harder to see because the the thermal chooses to make them hotter. Uh, there's another one up here, the awesome, that is absolutely impossible to see when powered down. So Target this is, acquired. Uh, sure in here. Oh well. Okay, so you can see, acquired. that's the awesome, but when powered down, System offline. pretty hard to see. It blends in with the background, same lighting, hardly any shadow. I'm not sure if that's the shadow from the, the awesome or the uh, shadow from just the rocks. So you can see a little better when you're zoomed in. Sorry about that. There was a minor glitch. So basically you can see that it's really hard to tell that's an awesome. But when you turn on the thermal, he's sort of glowing, and this is pretty close. So as we, uh, yeah, yeah, he's covered by that. As we actually back away, he glows much darker. I mean, I'm probably shooting through terrain right there, but as long as you know where you're standing, you can use thermal to increase your ability to discern where to hit on the target. Um, I don't have enough weapons on this probably to, or enough magnification on this to actually get the proper effect, but you can actually see individual components heating up. Maybe this is, yeah, this is probably a little too close. But normally, if you're at like 500 meters plus, the uh, the contrast actually allows you to be able to see individual components that are being heated up because they actually start glowing much brighter than the rest of the body. So uh, another benefit of this is that let's well, we'll go ahead and kill this uh, awesome. Let me see if we can cockpit it. Target 
destroyed. So they start smoking here. And sometimes the smoke actually gets in the way of aiming. Like, that that could be pretty bad. If you try using night vision, it's still pretty difficult to see that. Muse Thermal, though, shows up right through the, uh, the smoke. So this is probably one of the more likely examples is you're going to kill a mech or there's going to be like a graveyard of bodies are going to be smoking everywhere and it's literally impossible to see. So if you really need to see, for example, if it, that shot's going to marry you, you could technically turn on thermal and see. So you can see that these things still glow Target quite acquired. well at about 200, 250 meters. As you get closer though, they'll start turning into that all white and be very, very hard to tell. So like, yeah. If you're fighting at less than 100 meters, you probably don't need this thermal assist that gives you the contrast against the, uh, the, the hotter background. Another alternative is to, you know, use inverted color mode. I'm not even sure if I can record this. Let me see. Uh, Windows has an application called the magnifier. Uh, let me uh, disable. Oh, God. Disable that. And uh, let's see. Try on color inversion. Okay, and I don't know how it's going to record, but uh, if I turn on thermal now, it glows white, and I can actually see out of my eyeballs because it's not bright white around me. Heat level critical. So maybe it'll come up on recording, it probably won't. Critical. But like, you can see that the mech is really easy to tell at this range. Anyways, that's just some weird thing I found. It's not some sort of pro strat, but it is, you know, sometimes if you need the extra, I can't see anything because smoke or too much terrain, you can just turn on the, uh, the thermal vision and hopefully get a small boost to actually hitting a target. I mean, some of these targets with DCM are impossible to see. So basically it's just an extra bit of know possible things you can do to surprise your enemy or cause your teammates to, to yell at you for Heat being an idiot critical. for example target it just destroyed throw it out there 